I'm Richard Southern in the 680 News Business Center. It's vacation time of year right now, and let me ask you this. How would you like paid unlimited vacation? Sounds too good to be true, right? But would you believe a growing number of companies are actually offering this to their employees? Though, not everyone seems to take advantage of it. Workers at companies that offer unlimited vacay time take an average of 13 days off, compared to employees at companies that offer traditional paid time off who take 15 days on average. Still, a new survey today finds a third of all workers would be happy to lose some pay in exchange for unlimited vacation time. In fact, the average worker willing to part with 26% of their salary for unlimited vacation time. We just want some time off. Well, it was no holiday for Wall Street yesterday. You may have heard about this. The Dow on Monday is suffering its sixth worst day in history, plunging some 760 points as China allowed its currency to devalue and reneged on a province to, to buy U.S. agricultural products. Basically, the trade war between the U.S. and China really ratcheted up. And we had Trump uh, labeling China in a tweet yesterday, a currency manipulator. Today, a bit of a reprieve. Wall Street moved higher today as China moved to stabilize its currency, the yuan. Uh, interesting story in the Washington Post. Uh, it said that Trump is trusting his instincts and ignoring the advice of his aides regarding the trade conflict with China. TSX lower today as it played catch up to Monday's sell off in New York. Video game stocks moved higher today after they got sold off in a big way yesterday after Mr. Trump uh, associated video games with U.S. mass shootings, the likes of Electronic Arts, Take-Two, Interactive, Activision, Blizzard, the big names in the video game business, they all moved higher today. Traders coming back into these stocks. Of course, reports and studies have shown time and time again that there really is not a correlation between violent video games and mass shootings. Some big news on the Toronto housing market. It is heating up this summer. July home sales here in the city jumped 24% this July over last July. This according to the Toronto Real Estate Board. Uh, sales up 5.1% from June. This is the most since the end of 2017 before tougher mortgage rules came into place. Average price of a home here in the big smoke rising 3.2% to just above 806000 bucks. By the way, price of gas not expected to change here in Toronto tonight. At the 680 News Business Centre, Richard Souther, City News.